Right then, so I was talking to somebody the other day about their 3D models and some of the normals were facing the wrong direction. And if anyone remembers Blender 2.79, which I don't know if many of my viewers do, this was a little while ago, but can you guess which of these cubes have the normals facing the wrong direction? You can guess, it's these three cubes. They have um, a darker blue color to them. And this was very easy to spot all the time. And this is on by default. This is just how the viewport worked. You didn't need to use any overlay. And the normals are always just displayed as a slightly blue color. And you can fix that and there we go. They look normal. So, oh, they look normal. So shall we try that in Blender 3.0? So we have this, and if we want to see the normals, we have to go down here and click face orientation. So I don't know why they chose to make the colors so obnoxiously bright. And for that very reason, I find that some people just don't bother pressing this button because you have to always go to this button, click this, click that, find the ones which are facing the wrong direction and fix them. But it's very hard to see anything. It's really hard to get an idea of the context of the scene. So in this video, it's just gonna be very short. I'm just gonna show you how I do this. So in this scene, I also have a face orientation enabled all the time. So by default, this is turned on for me all the time because if you can tell which normals are facing the wrong direction, it's these ones which have a very slight red hue. And that's all the information that we need to make sure that our normals are facing the right way. I don't know why it's not like this by default, but I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So if, you, if I go back to the scene ugh, and go to preferences, and then go to themes and click on 3D viewport. And if we scroll down here to face orientation back and front. So front, I don't know why you need this at all because if one is wrong, it's gonna be red. But I don't know, whatever, for whatever reason, I just turn that off completely. Maybe it's for certain workflows, but I just turn that off because I'm not interested in normals which are facing the right way. And for face orientation back, I click this and I put this to a really low value, something like this, just so there's a very slight red hue. So I can, I think on the other one, I actually went to 0 0.02 and then I click save preferences and then you can, you can see. So this wall has a very slight red hue and you can make it brighter if you want, but um, I now I'm used to this red color so I can immediately see this is wrong. So I just select this and do shift N or a flip normals and there we go. The normals are now facing the correct way and there's no problems. I can also see that this plant has a slight red hue so that normal is probably facing the wrong way, but I highly recommend that everybody do this, at least for the um, the normals facing the wrong way, just so that you can just always see, just by be default, that the normals are facing the right way. I just thought that might be useful for some of you, so I just did a really quick video. Um, but that scene is also available at iMesh. If you just sign up for the newsletter, you can get that whole scene for free. But um, I hope that I just showed you a really quick trick. I recommend everyone does that. Um, if you want to have more quick videos by me, a bit like this, of my workflow and some things that I find make things easier, let me know and I'll try to spit out a few more quick ones. Thank you very, for, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Uh, and uh, goodbye. <laughs>